Moving on to new business. All right. No one over here? I have a couple of things. First of all, I want to thank everyone who has served with us on the Budget Committee who is leaving. And unfortunately, these people are not here with us tonight. And I just want to thank them. Uh, Richard Desroges, Sandra Nickerson uh, did not run for re-election. Right. So they will no longer be with us. We have appreciated the years that they have <coughs> spent with us here on the Budget Committee. Go over those who have who would have been leaving but they've joined uh, uh, signed on to for re-election and that would be Sonny Kravitz it would be Timothy Jones it would be David Wood and it would be my friend over here Stephen LeBranch Good. who are running but as some of you know this year due to a lot of circumstances where people from different committees and boards moved around a lot. We had an inordinate amount of openings because we lost two people to the Board of Selectmen. So where we usually have four positions open, we had six positions open. <coughs> and we did have people who were interested, but we still do have openings out there. There is one uncontested seat right now um, for the three-year board, uh, for the three-year seat, and there is one uncontested um, slot for the two-year seat. And I'm bringing this up because I think we have to, my next announcement, understand how these seats will be filled or can be filled. They are open on the ballot. They will be decided by a vote should there be write-ins to those positions. So if you are interested in serving on the Budget Committee, call your friends, your neighbors, and, and let them know. You are free to do a write-in campaign on those two positions, and it will be by a vote tally of those write-ins that will fill those two seats. In a different situation, Mark McFarland has tended his resignation prior to the end of what would have been his term. Hmm. That seat will be filled in a different manner. Mm -hmm. That will be by appointment. And usually we wait until after the election is closed, new members are appointed and we ask for those who are interested, which may or may not be if we have those two seats that right now are open, we may have two or three individuals who run for that, but it does not necessarily <coughs> be the top or the second vote getter that we put into those seats in an appointment. That is for us to decide, but we leave it open for anyone else to then look for the appointment to the seat. So now that I've confused everybody, <laughs> all right, there is an opening in the two seat for a write-in. There is an opening for the three, um, two year seat, I'm sorry. There is an opening for one three year seat for a write-in. That'll be decided by vote. The resignation that we have, that seat will be filled by appointment. Should and should there be no write-ins for the two-year seat or the three-year seat, then those positions, again, will be filled by appointment. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me, and I'd be happy to explain it before next Tuesday. <coughs> <coughs> 